Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of the Hex. Alright, we were on the sniper part. Maybe this time it won't be broken. So we already got this guy up here, right? That guy there. Okay, so he's still dead. And I can't get this guy because he's too far. Oh, you have to shoot that part specifically. Okay, that's why it wasn't working. have to go over here to hit this dude's blind spot. Yeah. We got laser beams. That's neat. I can use their scopes against them. that dude. Give him the old sniper, you know. Uh -huh. This part's not too bad. Can I shoot this thing? Out of my throat. We are officially gaming. Oh, video just buffered there for a second. Dang. So far, so good. As long as our man on the inside does his job, we might just get away with this. Guy's not coming back for Space Janitor 3. Got 
Got him. Oh, dang. I have no idea what is happening. Apparently we're attacking the video game company. Rocks? Oh, I can do my signature jump move. There goes Amur. Oh. I thought you'd land on that guy. <laughs> That's a Goomba. <laughs> Rest in peace. You remember back in the day on like albinoblacksheep.com when you would have like Luigi kills people animation. What's that one AMV for like the emo song? By like Linkin Park. It's like I'm breaking my habit tonight. <laughs> Did I lose the dialogue? Bruh. Wait, the thing is gone.
No, <laughs> my boy Junior. He's gone off to heaven. Or to Lazarus, I don't know. Whichever one. You've gotta go. <laughs> right when I start playing this game. Dang. I'm gonna make a video once this is all done, ranking each of the games. Not sure where I'll put this one. I'm pretty sure Inscription will be my favorite though. Oh, I got compressed. I'm pixel now. <laughs> awesome. Not sure if there's a reason to be compressed. So Lazarus, I've seen... We saw him in... I forget if he was in the fighting game, but he was in the RPG game. And he was in the... Uh... I can't go through this. Yeah, he's in the RPG game. Oh, this is cool! The RPG game again, but it's... different. And he's in this one, too. Ah, we must need to open up the elevator. That is very get video gamey thing to do. Oh, and then we fight the slimes because we're decompressed. This brings back memories. Tally marks on the armor of Lazarus. I've... Why? Are you gonna like run out of ammo or like? Must just need health to tank it. Yeah. Ah, but I'm immune to gunfire. You fool. And when I'm over here, I must be immune to lava. Yep. Neato. Gonna turn into real? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Why does he do so much damage with that? Alright, we got him. Huh, I'm not sure how I get through this. I guess if I go up, maybe? I can just go right through there. Ah, I used the sentry to hit the button. That is smart. Oh my... I'm so used to Hotline Miami 2, I press shift so I could look. <laughs> Which is not actually a mechanic in this game. Bruh, I got jump scared. I wonder why they took away my sniper rifle. I don't know what these dudes are talking about. Oh, that is a lot of them. I'm not sure if I can beat all of those. Let's go into pixel mode. Try to sneak by. 
Hey, homies. Oof. I don't think these guys are gonna like uh, what the sentry's doing to him too much. religious imagery. Alright, that's that area done. Uh, there's one down here too. Oh, I must... yeah, I, I can go through that. Kinda neat, like changing forms, kinda like Minish Cap. Sphinx. <laughs> We're gonna fight a stone slab. Bug donks are more fun. Chonks are bugged. Uh, I think I die here. Oh, it only does 30, that's fine. Yeah, I can just hit them all in that case. I'm not sure. I have health items. Maybe I should try going this way. Just in case there are some potions around. Oh, three orbs. Cinematic parallels. What is the deal with this bit? We have to do this in a specific order. Yeah, I must have to do the down area first. Do I have... Oh, I can't. There's no start screen. I didn't see any potions around, so I'm pretty sure that there isn't any. Right. Yeah, I deal slightly more damage than I take. So here I want to reload, so I don't go below. 
here. Oh, you can tell which ones are bugged. If you just mouse over them. That makes sense. I should have guessed that there would be a gimmick with it. Please stop doing that. Alright, that one's pink. Those two flashed when they came on as well. Oh, my health is maxed still. That's interesting. Maybe shooting a pure onk uh, reloads your health. Is it always the last one that's pure? That might just be a coincidence. Oh, I get it. Hitting the onk kills you, or it heals you, like it's full on key. Stop spawning hogs, dude. <laughs> now that one's the good onk. That dragon was right about you. You're a real prick. Wow, that guy is kind of mean. Alright, give me that orb. Yeah. That should open up the last one, I think. Hopefully, anyways. Maybe I have to go in in human mode, or I mean, decompress. No, it doesn't work. Huh? How do I sneak on in them? Yeah. These blue things have got to do something, right? Should this one be green, maybe? No, oh, that's supposed to be red. Maybe I slip through down here? No, I think this area is done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's done. Yeah, there's nothing else down here. Just Junior. Maybe that Moogle's bike is somewhere. This definitely does seem like somewhere you can get through though. Oh. Alright, that door just uh, doesn't work. Fog. Go through the walls. Wait, do I even want to be in decompressed form over here? There has to be something I can do. Otherwise, why have that area at all? Huh, that isn't opening up anymore. That is very strange. Oh, I can move it. It's on rails. Now that makes sense. Well, that looks like something you can interact with, but I think it's just a wall. Now I 
just gonna go from there to over here. There's a slime down there. If I want to go genocide route, I should go fight that slime. Hello. Oh, did you think I would charge at you? Oh, at the mouth. Seriously, thoughts become actions, man. I'm just trying to enjoy my vacation. Alright, no genocide route today. Wonder if that bucket does anything. Well, now I have to test it. Bye. Okay. Give me that bucket. Nope, it's just background object. My disappointment is immeasurable. However, my day is not ruined. I'm doing okay. That green thing is nothing. Ooh, pirate ship. Fancy. This looks like quite the puzzle. There is a dude down here. Let's go see the dude. Oh, that's the pirate captain that was impersonated. going through it as they say. other way. That thing is. Ah, oh, it's clever. I can go through here now. And that's the final orb. Alright, cool puzzle. I think we're getting close to the end of this game. Hopefully a sniper rifle. Green does. Now it's exactly like Hotline Miami. <laughs> if I can shoot in two directions. Hotline Miami 2 anyways, I don't think that was a thing in one.
I don't know how to aim. Ouch. Well, I played that pretty poorly. This aiming style is so weird to get used to. Is ready yourselves. Protect the game works. Dang. Oh, come on. You're so fast. <laughs> Look at it smooth. Why did I assume it would be right? I guess that is a video game convention. Oh, these red things. Oh, it's a hand. <laughs> Classy. I can't click around. Oh, do I have to right click? No. Uh, get cheesed. I did it twice somehow. Huh, how do I get past this bit? Oh. Nice.
<laughs> what just got me? Come on, game. I did the same thing, bro. Alright, you need to turn around, my guy. Also, you too, if you can. I didn't actually want that one to turn around, but I think it's fine. Alright, we're good. Are we not good? What? What is wrong? Aren't we good? I hit the thing. What do you want from me? Wait, if I die, I go back down here. I was supposed to hit this thing, right? Did I not hit it? <laughs> Ooh, prison break? Let's go. Like we made a new friend. Oh, we have to run away now. Bye bye. Have fun, guys. Uh, wait. Did I just get hit by a laser or something? <laughs> oh god. Just choked on my. So we did that big raid and then we came here. That's why there's so much heat on Lazarus. Let me free that magician character. Hello, Super Weasel Kid. Found the artifacts. It does not seem like something you'd want to mess with, but it also seems kind of baller. Oh, hey, you're a spider now.
Triforce, Tetris, Ring, Pokeball. Sorry. <laughs> it's funny out the Pokeball, but this is exactly like a Zelda boss. Not very effective. Let's see what else we have. Ah, the frying pan. Why don't you take this one? Hee <laughs> hee. Hundred alive. Hundred left. Oh, it's people on my friends list, I think. Nice. Like a not very optimal uh, weapon here. And I got stuck on a thing. Perfect. Why aren't those two shooting each other? Oh. This is PUBG. Okay, what? How do I do this fight? There we go. Okay. <laughs> now that I have a real gun, it should be quite a bit easier, ideally. Shoot at the safe area. Does the ammo actually matter here? No, it's infinite. Good to know. Might want to run fast for this. Blue killed the wolf. Dude, why do you have so much health? I guess I have quite a bit of health. I'd probably die there if this was a real battle rail. Can I grab the, uh, the tunic? Doesn't seem to be the case. This is the blue character, I have a feeling, will be the final boss. Stop shooting at me. That is very rude. Oh, I seem to have reached the top of the map. Ah, there's these faint arrows telling me where to go. up bomb archer Get the suspense winner winner well it's not time for dare just yet now oh, what else we got A mushroom? Super weasel kid? Uh oh. Remember this person? Fight the fight the person. We got her here. Yep. 
got the artifact. Mission accomplished. Mission complete. Lethal spider. Oh, we side scrolling? Now I'm all slow mode. Ultra Muffet, yeah. Oh, I hate the dude. Is that Lucas Carter? I don't think so. Alright, we out. I sure do love having eyes. Doesn't look like him, TBH. Got him! Even unlocked Pyric Victory. Well, there it is. The murder. You just saw it. Lazarus killed Irving at the bar with an assault rifle. What a neat ending to the story. Are you satisfied? Um. It's kind of satisfying. But if I say no, I probably get more story. I'm glad to hear that. You see, it's very important that you're still invested in this. You've got a key role to play, but before that... I'm sure you're wondering about our sixth guest. You taught me to fight, I suppose I own that. I can't talk to him. I guess he is dead now. Well, no more of that. Let's see where the, uh, the front door is. He escaped the inn. Now east is left. Actually, east might be right. Whatever the case, we're one coin further into the blending machine. Not sure if we're there quite yet, though. Oh, we need two more. I am a bit curious if it'll let us go back down to the basement. Don't have anything to say about that area. It seems like that is the case. So we got uh, the escape pod, which we now know is Lazarus's. This area, which is probably too small for you. I may need the headlamp. Not sure if it'll let me go in this room without a headlamp. Seems to not be the case. I think I know where the headlamp is. I'll be brought into a cabin in the forest where I will play card with an old man. I wish. 
Oh yeah, I don't know if you were around yesterday, but I did manage a win on uh, Moon Percent and Inscription, which was pretty fun. Second soda machine. Go all the way through this bit again. Ah, the lift is broken. That's unfortunate. The good news is, though, that there is a headlamp here. Think you see a ladder? Where? Saw. <laughs> Bye, Lazarus. So that's another set of machines, so there must be enough coins around to open multiple soda machines. Alright, what do you gotta say to me? You are not going to get freed if you are that not nice to people. You know what I'm saying? Still not sure what the point of that is. Those things. Alright, we still haven't gone uh, this way yet. Some secret somewhere. There is a cabin. And there is another building. Come on here, Chris. Not seeing much else in there. Alright, let's go to the other cabin now. Just check if there's anything over here. This looks like it. Yeah, this does look like the inscription cabin in the uh, part two with the pixel art, yeah. <laughs> A laptop? I mean, desktop. has some use some here. Alright, so this goes through there. Seems like the electricity is actually going down here, behind somewhere. <laughs> Alright, Carl, thanks for coming.
Where is this left one going? Ah, that goes to there? Ah, uh, up goes to the down zone. Huh, we must need one more thing here. to there. There we go. The hex? The hex are gone, perhaps. Description. First person video game. Right. This is Lionel Snell. If you're hearing this, it's because you turned on the developer commentary for my latest game, my magnum opus, really, called Walk. The scene you're looking at is a model of my childhood bedroom. This right here is where Super Weasel Kid was conceived. Wow. Take it in. Oh, Cooking Granny. Poppin's Rip here. Super Weasel Kid. Oh, that classic character. And that's Mr. Shrewd. The two always made little squeaks and chirps at each other. I like to imagine they were talking. Shrewd would be this wise parental figure giving advice to Weasel Kid. One of my favorite games at that age was Cooking Granny. I thought Chef Bryce was the coolest. <laughs> well, you know how that turned out. Aw. Chef Bryce is the coolest, though. The dev is Lionel. Yep. That weasel was my favorite pet. I called him... You guessed it. Weasel Kid. The death is Lionel, you forgot. That's alright. Now you remember. My original plan for Walk was to have it be an almost non-interactive experience. Oh gosh. <laughs> Just allow the player to explore and contemplate. I did some market research though, and well, that kind of game was falling out of vogue. Not much money in it. So I jammed in some real gameplay. I thought that since this is about my life as a developer, why not show the player what it's like to make a game? I mean, this is like a way dumbed down version of the stuff I do, but, but to the average gamer, it's a challenge. This is so hard with mouse acceleration. I remember when I first got the jumping code right and hooked it up to a keyboard button. Oh, that dopamine rush electrified my childhood brain. Hey there, I'm the GameWorks assistant, but you can call me Irving. Looks like you need a little help adding enemies to your game. I've got you covered, pal. Irving came as part of the GameWorks package. I was a little hesitant about using an AI at first, but he became really helpful.
Oh, spring. Wait, I'm actually confused. Oh, I have to double click it. It didn't take long to realize how much I depended on Irving. He assured me that it was easy for him to come up with enemies and non-player characters for me, so I let him do his job. Kind of a neat puzzle there. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Uh, how do I fix that? There we go. This is kind of like Scratch. I couldn't get the original Super Weasel Kid for Walk. Something about losing the files. Eh, kind of a shame, I guess. All right, so that'll be move left. It was overlaid with a simple one. Oh, there's no triple jump in this? Wow, this is bootleg. I must need to make a move. I can't surf him. You can't surf in Super Weasel Kid. Alright, that must be the wrong entity. Oh, I killed one of the entities. Okay, that explains why it stopped moving. No, don't go to there. Oh my, I keep getting the mouse outside of the window. Why are you still there? Alright, um, the alive entity... Okay, now you can die. <laughs> nice. Be back. Yeah, dead entity look different. The success of Super Weasel Kid paralyzed me. I tried starting a few different games, but I kept comparing them to my big hit. What would people think if I put out something that was worse? That I had just gotten lucky the first time? that I'm a one-trick pony, eventually I settled on making a sequel. Super Weasel Kid Radical Road. Mr. Shrewd was getting older, both in Radical Road and real life. The older I got, though, the less I really cared. I tried to learn guitar, but I couldn't motivate myself to practice. 
There was something about the immediacy of game development that I couldn't get out of that thing. Yeah, the, uh, the triangle earlier was like the triangle in uh, Pony Island. So, yeah, they might be connected. This is so cool, too. I really like this, like, kind of pixelated but first-person aesthetic. Super cool. Yeah, the game Funa Tri- Oh, that's what it's from! You're right. It's from the uh, Luke Carter video. I'd been playing a lot of fighting games at that age. Always loved those. I wanted to make one, but I wasn't quite as talented as I would become. So that's why I just had to add combat to Radical Road. shit out of that Grunda, but the critics really came down on me for that part. It left me feeling like I had no idea what people wanted. What a dude was there. Radical Road was met with mixed reviews, and it made me panic. I resolved to put away Super Weasel Kid forever and try something new. To top it off, my shrew died. Sunlight is gone. <laughs> Weasel Kid actually escaped, if you can believe it. I took him outside one time, and he slipped out of my hands and ran into my neighbor's rose garden. I searched for hours, but the garden was pretty big, and the thorns were painful. No, Super Weasel Kid. Mr. Shrewd was long dead at this point. Shrews just don't live that long. Who else wants some ice cold poppers root beer? Mmm, poppers. It is. Drink. I get emails once in a while. People asking to make deals, wanting to capitalize on my IP. It had been a couple of years now since Radical Road, and one day I just said, fuck it, fine. I sold the franchise to the highest bidder. Lionel Snell. Between Game Funa Inc. Assignee and Lionel Snell Inc. Assigner. <laughs> this is such a uh, trying to fill out essay type of writing. This is actually like impossible to read. So I think I'm going to stop. <laughs> Consideration. 2.5 mil. That's crazy for your first game. And then they run it into the ground. I feel like there's something hidden in this that's like that matters, but I just 
I do not want to read this. When I saw what they did with Super Weasel Kid, I felt a little part of myself die. But I was 18 years old and loaded. It was actually one of the best years of my life. Steven, you all. Oh, I can jump. I can jump and walk. The next scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan? Make a fighting game. Not everyone remembers, but I started the Combat Arena franchise. Those guys working on it now merely inherited it. Okay, just a jump a little bit higher. I'm gonna break the audience's immersion for a second, because this is just perfect. <laughs> Bomb Archer making the same realization that Nightbot has. <laughs> Game Puna must have made Pong Island Game Puna as demonic. Pony Island. That does make more sense than Pong Island. <laughs> yeah, everything's connected. In any case, back to the game. You're almost there. Lionel seems like a cool dude. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't get nearly enough credit for starting one of the most popular fighting game franchises in history. Ah, uh, it's a beauty, isn't it? I put my weasel bucks to use and bought this place with cash. Then I hired a team. I hired my childhood friend Carla to work at my new studio. She was halfway through a degree in computer science, but I offered her a huge salary. Hard to say no to that. Ah, huh, this is certainly something. The magician is there. I bought the rights for my favorite game character. That is, my favorite character I hadn't made myself. Integrating Bryce into Combat Arena was harder than I thought. I had a lot of help from Irving. Wait, Irving is real? Interesting. Also, that explains why, uh, why Lionel was ported from a baking game. Sad to see he didn't take the change so well. Man, this is so cool. I just love the way things look. It's like, um, Stanley Parable. Are you watching on your phone? You probably shouldn't do that. That's how I went through like a month's worth of data by leaving it on overnight on a Twitch stream once. <laughs> My dad got really mad at that one. <laughs> Gotta make sure you're on Wi-Fi. Alright, I'm gonna assume there's nothing else here. Go to that computer. Oh, what was that other game that had something similar? It was like some science game. Quantum Conundrum? I think that was it. And it had these huge open rooms. Where you could do a lot of cool platforming. Carla's first order of business was to tell me that I had designed too many male characters. I tried to tell her that Steambot Willie was genderless, but she insisted. So I created Chandrell while she worked on Sado. That Sado? 
Ugh. That eye. Ugh. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ever since Carla created Sado, I get these weird, annoying bugs in my games. And I'm still getting them in walk. Oh, come on. The eyes are fun. Not exactly sure what Carla did while she was creating this new, you know. She told me some mumbo jumbo about pushing Gameworks to its limits. That whole character was eerie, to say the least. Interesting that he started his own studio instead of uh, working for Game Puna. Ah, oh, you can't even watch YouTube with your Wi Fi. That's a shame. Is that a toothbrush? No, that's a pen. It's like, who's brushing their teeth at their desk? I gotta find something new to do. Look at that door. That's exactly what it looked like in real life. You got spooked. Solid teak, hand carved, gold nameplate. I was hiring people who were twice my age. I had to make sure they understood who was in charge. There is kind of a sadness to moving up in the world and losing the purity. You almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why would you bring an empty cage with you? That's so sad. The, uh, the couch. Oh yeah, there's Chandrill. Oh gosh, that looks like stock. It's the same computer. It's facing a wall, which is very strange feng shui, because if someone knocks on the door, you have to turn around. Wait, my computer is facing a wall. Anyways. Making Combat Arena gave me my first glimpse into the, well, to be frank, the stupidity and immaturity of gamers. Every damn day we got complaints about how this or that character was overpowered underpowered too boring Ugh, i never wanted to work on a fighting game again Oh, it's a little face. Is this his AI now? Steamboat Willie, no. Preparing to get owned. Simo Willie is so overpowered. Oh my freaking gosh. If Willie doesn't get a nerf, I'm quitting the beta and never buying the game. Makes Steamboat Willie less powerful. I'm guessing I have to lose this one. And then they're gonna say he's too weak, aren't they? This is why you don't listen to the gamers. 
My favorite character is Steambot Willy, and you've made him trash. I want to play Willy again. Make Steambot Willy better. Block expletive. All right, now Steamboat Willie can block. Okay, I, have to I might want to make him five again. Coding the punches and kicks was everything I had hoped it would be. I'd sit in my office for hours just watching these characters go to town on each other. Sometimes they'd look like they could actually feel it. Uh oh. I keep playing against Steambot Willy and he always wins, like every time. You gave him a block ability, that's OP. Blocking is too good, replace it. <sighs> no honor in beating up a fighter with empty move slots. Huh. Not sure what else I could code without a new code block. I block no params. Fuck the eyes to each other. That does sound fun. Alright, let's make him swear. Now he says frick. No, Steambot Willy. Zzz, Steambot Willy is so boring. Give Willy an ultimate move. Alright, this one does seem like could be a bit tricky. Move time. Go Steambot Willy. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Oh, where'd he go? And sorry, pal. Oh God, it was such a relief to ship that game. I hated it by the end, but since my fingers had touched it, it turned to gold. I still had my contract with Game Funa, so I sold the franchise for another boatload of cash. Now that my studio was bigger, richer, unstoppable, it was time to take on something huge. An epic fantasy adventure that only a studio like mine could accomplish. This is when I made Secrets of Legendaria. We all know how this one goes.
<laughs> I wonder if Carla is the one that screwed up the characters by adding the, uh, the magician. There was a heated debate about which character should be the star of Secrets of Legendaria. In the end, Carla won over the studio, so we went with Chandrell. Huh, yeah, who cares what I think, right? <laughs> Justifiably bitter. I had been pushing the team really hard to finish the game, but see? I rewarded them sometimes. Wow, what a legend. Wish I could work for this dude. I put everything into that game. I hired the best programmers, the best designers. I burned through my fortune fast. But this game was going to be epic, goddammit. I paid the biggest gaming streamer to play it live with hundreds of thousands watching. Uh, hmm. Where's that damn mechanic? Try this. <laughs> yeah, you like that switch mechanic? Pretty cool, huh? Still got it. Yeah, you still got it, buddy. Sounds kind of like Luke. There's no way Luke made a... <laughs> Woof. Not again. Said I was done with this stuff after the last two. Hey, Irving. I don't want to be in this stupid puzzle game. And how are you holding up, Faceless Joe? Dull, I figured. I'm guessing I have to fight that slime. You'll have to solve some brilliant puzzle to open the gate. I did it. Makes sense that they'd choose me for this game. Chandrell's gone, also Lazarus. Hmm, Valamir too. All they've got left is the town mechanic. Woof, here we go. A tough slime was there. Haven't been decompressed in a while. Cool. Gonna need some spells, huh? Rebesha. Wow, this is... Alright, so we open that switch. And then... We can open this switch. Do yep, an enemy for 30, for 50. Oof, that's one tough slime. I'm gonna need some more mana. These things are back. So we definitely need this to connect, but first we need the switch to flip.
come on, how do I fit this through? Well, I can give health or mana to the enemy. Okay, so everything's in place aside from the green switch. If I move the green switch, will that undo my progress? No. Oh, and now we have to give experience, right? The stream had been going alright with the odd hitch or two, but things took a terrible turn for the worst right near the end. <laughs> it was chaos! Whatever that is, I might need it. Alright, we got big crit boost on the table, four different switches, and we need the blue line to switch. What happens if we connect these up? That probably does nothing. We definitely need... Oh, we need green. So how do we get to green? Well, we can get to yellow first. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let me get you out of here. Actually, no, we're okay with you. Now we can get green out of here. Get down here to hit the purple. Get down here to hit the blue. Get you out of there. And there we go. Get an AoE spell here. So we can hit all. Thirty, but it crits, and then that crits again. Okay. Chino Mike Master Mechanic. Add it then back to the Overworld. Guess not. Secrets of Legendaria bombed. Carla had left bugs in there intentionally to sabotage me. It must have been that because everything went wrong, and everyone saw it live. The game had no hope of recouping costs, so I took funds from the severance packages and ran. Why? I couldn't even afford my apartment anymore. I moved south to find some cheaper real estate. That's a lot of damage. Living in the desert was a miserable experience. I blasted the AC all day, but I was somehow always sweating. I started working on Waste World here. It was supposed to be my great comeback. I would wake up, sit in front of my computer, and just stare at the screen with my hands beside the keyboard. 
After about an hour of that, I'd blow off the rest of the day playing some online game. The witness? Sure, I'd sometimes accomplish something, but then I'd reward myself with some social media time and would wind up reading articles about myself. They weren't kind to me. You feel bad? Feels bad, man? Oh, cool, I can do the movement. I never finished Waste World. I wanted this area of walk to reflect that experience, so I left it half finished. That also saved me some development time. <laughs> Clever guy. You shouldn't feel bad for this dude, he stole Severin's packages. That is not a very good thing to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure half of those levels were unbeatable, but I just didn't care anymore. Oh, so that's why the hacks were in there. Sorry, Spirella. Come on, I don't get any answer to that question. Alright then. C plus shift M mine kill friend. Alright, C plus shift does not do anything. I have to go into developer console for that one. Futurist creator of Super Weasel Kid. Oh, I'm a self insert. Alright. That would explain why I can't fight these dudes. I said I got enough health to just not care. Pioneer Futurist creator of Super Weasel Kid. Somehow, the more I needed to finish that game, the more I avoided doing it. My parents would call every once in a while to ask how it was going, but I'd just lie. to 999 damage. I wonder if there's a cap to this. 1006. That's probably significant.
final straw was those idiotic modders. They took my half-finished game and made a goddamn mockery of it. Aliens in a post-apocalyptic Wild West. It made no sense. If I couldn't finish the game myself, I sure as hell wasn't going to let them do it for me. Nonsense, modded enemy. Getting the legal documents drawn up to take on those modders really fired me up. It was just what I needed to bring those low lives to task. Those gormless basement dwellers were going to pay for every temp. He goes on like that for a while. You must be tired of hearing that voice. We're mere pawns to him, but you can change that. Listen to me, this is important. When you see a door of light, walk back to whence you came, and look to your right. Now let's see how far I can skip you for it. <laughs> And that's how I programmed the blood particles. I think it really contributed to the visceral pleasure of Vicious Galaxy 2, making it the obvious standout in the series. My only gripe with the game was the designs of the main characters. They're too old. Everyone wanted the same boring space marines with Vicious Galaxy. Hey, looky here. You found a little secret secret. Hiding secrets like these are a great way to keep a player engaged. You might ask, why did I spend time and money on something that only a few players will see? Well, I'll tell you. The few players that do find it, to tell damn near everyone they know about the cool secret they found, and the people they tell will be lining up to buy your game. I wish I had put this in the commentary. Ah well, the material for my book. I also like these graphics. Eventually I got my wish. There was some sort of breach within GameWorks. I had to create a new squad of player characters from scratch after that. So the breach of GameWorks was real as well. find ourselves at the climax of walk. The player has to use everything they've learned to solve the ultimate puzzle and arm the bomb. Go on, you can do it. Okay, that is kind of cool. Card is like the one the trader and PO3 zone show you. That's a bit of a reach. This probably looks daunting. Switches, those creepy eye things, and a splitter all in one puzzle. But it's the last one, I promise. Well, it's a bit tricky, actually. Can 
hit the yellow switch here. That must be useful for something. Yeah, I can hit the blue switch now. Starting the bomb because all the bridges are out of the way. Wait, no. So we need you out of the way. So we need. Oh, we need to hit all the things at the same time. That must be it. Um, so probably hit that one second. Wait, no, I can't get down, can I? Can I move the other splinters? I don't think so. Oh, but I can use this now. So now I just have to move the... Uh, yeah, I need to move switches out of the way. So I can get blue easy, so let's do that one first. Okay, I want to do green last. I can do orange now. Wait, no, I want to do orange last. I want to do blue here. And then orange. Green last, no. Alright, so we need orange there, because then we can hit the blue. It has to be there, it has to be out of the way. And then we can lock you up easy, when the blue is in that state. And then I can get rid of the orange. And maybe even the green. Now I just need blue out of the way. Yeah, I need blue to finish. This shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so I get, get blue that way. And then I just have to get yellow back. 
and I can get yellow. Through here. And then, I can put... No, not that way. And then, I can finish that. Oh. Wait, don't give me a clue. I got... I only got all the bridges together. So now the only one I can get to is orange, so I change orange state, and then I change orange state again? No. Finally you are so smart, I don't know about that. Is there some way I'd use the splitter to hit both? Blue and orange, maybe? I need blue to be different. <laughs> I never said I was the greatest puzzler in the world. Okay, so what does... What is the second to last step? The last step is you get arm and you put it down to bomb. The second to last step is getting this out of the way. So... There's two ways of doing that. One is... You get the blue state in the other way, and you can either go up here, or you can go straight through to here. But the blue has to be different. Right now I can only change the orange. And when I change orange, I can change blue. Once I do that, I can put you away. And now I just need to change... I can change blue, but then I have to change orange. And I can't use this splitter, so I don't know what the point of that splitter is, actually. But we can use this to get to blue by using orange. And then we just have one more obstacle left. Which is, um... Getting the blue back. So if we use the splitter... Uh, get the orange like that. Maybe we need to finish on the green and do the green last. Okay, yeah, because if we do the green last, then we can put this away. So that must be how you do it. So we need the blue to be in the other state first. Right? And now we just do the green. The eyeball is the only one that can get down to this splitter. And once you fix the green, you can hit uh, both of these at the same time. Oh, it hit all three at the same time because of the other splitter. There we go. And now you're armed. You know, I had to lower the difficulty of that puzzle like ten times before the average player could solve it. 
But great job. You figured it out. <laughs> you win. You win. And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap. So, <laughs> Walk is a shoe in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. Oh, I'm glad to see you all love the witness. Oh, where'd my trophy go? The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white door frame and the credits roll. And, hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? All right, good. Let's get out of here. Well, the ending was was tricky. Figuring out how all the pieces connected. What was I supposed to do? Go back for months. He came. In the east, maybe. Ah, wow, that sure is bright. This is the path. There's all these lights. <laughs> Super is okay. Was not that my first, first game? game? That, that was fine. Count C first game. Wow, first game. This will be some deep lore. The bartender. Root contender. Oh, I see. Oh, hey, it's you. I'm in a wheelchair now. Oh, hey, it's you. Cover with you. Closing time, Reginald. Hey, that can't be. It's not even dark yet. It's closing time forever. Finals releasing Super Weasel Kid. We can't have some root here. Game. Marrying his reputation. You must be mistaken. Lionel loves Rupier, and he loves me. Lionel wants this. I won't leave. Very well. Lionel wants this.
Oh, there's a spider. Pretty sure that was Lionel, yeah. Dang, he'll never get that trophy in real life. Dave Mullins is a playtester. I mean, you're technically correct. Why did he hate Lionel? Because Lionel tried to have him killed by the, uh, the assistant dude. He wanted his first game to be Super Weasel Kid, the big success. Yeah, I think Lionel wanted to delete the bartender. Lionel kind of screwed with all those video game characters in different ways. I feel most bad for that chef dude who got grabbed from cooking grandma. What is happening at this point? Nothing, it's just credits. It's the end of the game. The game works, dude? Which one? You think he lied to Lionel? I kind of doubt that. Because Lionel was kind of feeding into the whole Gameworks narrative and like selling them as games. So I think Lionel and Gameworks are like BFFs. Did Bryce's grandma die? No, she just got punched. The game is now done. <laughs> Alright, I'll relaunch it just in case there's uh, 
extras after that bit. Can you guys see the game yet? Bryce is so OP. Wow, just like a gamer comparing about overpowered characters. Alright, we're back, I think. It's loading. <sighs> back in the six pine. Room. Oh, that is the end, it looks like. What happens if we try to go back in here? Quite the game. One coin off, seeing what's behind that. So that's the bartender in the old root beer parlor. And there's the hooded man. So the assistant died. In the game anyways, I'm not sure about the real life equivalent. And Lionel died. And it seems like uh, the spider girl also escaped. And that's the trophy. Not sure what to think about this game. Certainly an interesting one. Well, if you enjoyed this let's play of the Hex, leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.